Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic is device labeling. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If this is the first executive series video that you've seen, please go back and check out the introduction. Check out the video description below for links to any supporting information and an outline of the material we will cover today. In each of these videos, I have a standard agenda, which covers four main areas. You can see those areas in the progress bar below. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video to get those three bonus questions. Our requirement, device labeling, comes directly from 820.120 and 1345 section 7.5.1. Device labeling in five words. Ensure label accuracy and control. When we look at device labeling, 820 has more detailed requirements than 1345. 820 outlines five areas where medical device labeling must be controlled. They are integrity, inspection, storage, operations, and control. Let's get into each one of them. Integrity. Label integrity gets to the actual heart of ensuring that the label stays affixed to your product and it remains legible throughout your device life. Labeling inspection. This gets into ensuring that the information on your labeling is accurate, it meets your requirements, it meets the actual regulatory requirements, and that those labels are not released to manufacturing until the inspection is complete. Storage and operation gets into handling and controlling those labels to make sure that A, we don't have mix-ups, and B, they are applied appropriately to the product. We also have to keep a copy of all levels of labeling used on the manufacturer or on the product itself in the DHR. And then finally, the actual control number. This gets into any unique device identifier, lot number, batch number, control numbers that are actually issued to the product. Those also have to be on the label itself. So how do I know this is working? Well, first, labels, they maintain their integrity throughout the product lifespan. Second, I control all my labeling operations and I prevent mix-ups and I only use approved labels. And then finally, a copy of the actual labels, all levels of labels used, is kept in the DHR. So how do I know it's not working? Well first, I'm not keeping copies of the labels in the DHR. Second, my labels get mixed up. I'm not reconciling labels and the wrong label gets put on a product so the and that product is released so I have a recall due to label mix-ups and then finally my labels do not maintain their integrity so they fall off or they become illegible now for the three bonus questions do we have a line clearance process for clearing out all materials before we start the next manufacturing run if yes what's the procedure number second do we do label reconciliation third how do we capture the actual labels within the DHR? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.